How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I'm going to explain you why you should change your AirDrop settings right now. So, AirDrops is a native Apple feature that we all love. It's a super easy and fast way to transfer all of our files between our Apple devices, but it has a problem when you're talking about safety and security. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can be safe and secure while using AirDrop. So, all you have to do is actually go ahead, pull down on your control center, right? And then tap and hold on your connectivity section right here. And then you'll see AirDrop, which by default will be turned on with contacts only. But we need to change that, okay? So tap and hold on AirDrop, as you can see right here. And we have three options, receiving off, contacts only, the default option, and everyone for 10 minutes. And this is super important as well, because this last option is new. Everyone for 10 minutes is a new implementation in iOS 16.2. So if you don't see everyone for 10 minutes, you just see everyone. It means that you need to update your iPhone to at least iOS 16.2 or later. When you update, you'll see here everyone for 10 minutes, just like my iPhone. So go ahead, make sure iPhone is updated and then we can continue. And here is actually where the magic happens. This is the setting that I recommend that you change right now. Because what I recommend you to do is to not use contacts only, but receiving off. So always have your airdrop off every day, just like mine is. And then only when you actually need to send or receive anything, only when you actually need to use airdrop, then you go ahead, tap and hold, and you use the new feature everyone for 10 minutes. As you can see here, everyone, but it's only for 10 minutes. So then you can leave this section. You can go ahead, open your photos, send stuff, receive stuff, and you don't need to worry about anything because after 10 minutes, it'll come back to off. So it'll come back to invisible. You'll be invisible. You will be safe. So then, and this is very important, when you are off, and as I said, it'll come back automatically to off, when you're off, no one will be able to see you. No one will be able to actually send you unwanted files, malicious files. And this is the whole point of this video. Having your airdrop as always off, as you can see right here, will protect you, will give you security and safety because you will be invisible. No one will be able to reach you, track you or send anything to you. And as I said, only when you need to use airdrop, tap on everyone for 10 minutes, you will be able to do everything perfectly for 10 minutes and then it'll come back to off. So then that's it. If your airdrop right now is at contacts only, which is a default, all you need to do is tap here and tap on receiving off. And that's it. That's it. From now on, when you need to use it, go to everyone for 10 minutes and then it'll automatically cycle back to off and then it'll not be contacts only. I don't recommend you to use contacts only. It doesn't work the way it should. It doesn't work really well. So I don't recommend contacts only, only off and everyone for 10 minutes, just like I explained you and you're good to go. Okay, so that's literally it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a quick little tutorial, but trust me, this is the best way to use AirDrop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.